Thank you so much for that. Um, you mentioned to us in an earlier conversation, this was uh, done on a bit of a time schedule, and I wanted you to discuss how you chose your movements to get your point across when you didn't have too much time to think how you got your character across in that way. So I had about three weeks to put this together because hippie wrangling happens in the belly dance community too. Um, I was in a show with a bunch of belly dancers who were all geeks, but a lot of them were way more experienced than I was. And I wanted to both present a strong piece, not look like an idiot, and portray a character. So I chose basic movements that felt strong yet feminine that I was really, really comfortable with and repeated them a lot. And because my audience was full of non-dancers, they really don't know the difference if you move, you add movements around in different combinations. So I used a lot of the same stuff over and over again at different tempos and in different uh, combinations to kind of trick them into thinking I was doing new tricks without having to learn a bunch of new tricks. Excellent job. Thank you. Well, first and foremost, thank you for uh, making the fantasies of all the fanboys in the audience come true. Uh, so secondly, um, the Era of Apollo as a flow wand. I'm curious, why'd you choose flow wand instead of like a staff or a baton? Because I don't do staff or baton. <laughs> <laughs> I chose a flow on because it's a prop I'm really, really familiar with. Flow on was my first toy after a really awesome ch uh, staff that I brought from Chad. Him, him. Uh, <laughs> I'm really comfortable with it. I know how to build one, and I know how to build a wacky one. I also chose to do flow on with this because I wanted to do something that I know no belly dancer that I've seen has ever performed at an event like this. I'm the only belly dancing flow wander in Boston that I am aware of who performs occasionally. <laughs> so it was, uh, you know, it was nice to have my own little thing that would set me apart from the advanced dancers without being a blow your mind wiggly crazy snake babe. <laughs> I go transition into theatrics. <laughs> Obviously your character rings true with 98% of the people here. And again, thank you for fulfilling many of our fantasies. Um, how did you, I mean, star, I mean, there's a personal journey that I'm aware of, of your being more and more girly. Is it you relate to star? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, but. Insert the, footage now. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, choosing this character and doing this act I had to just absolutely make that, that group go crazy, much like it did us when we realized what was going on. I actually had a dude who came up and said, so I know you did Battlestar, but did they turn Starbuck into a chick? Oh. <laughs> to preface that, that for non-sci-fi geeks, there was a previous yeah. Battlestar that the had original. a dude Starbuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, girl Starbuck's hotter. <laughs> so seriously, why, I mean, how did you choose, if we're all trying to come up with, you know, we've got a Comic-Con convention we're going to perform at, how do we come up with the most awesome character like you? So, because it's sci-fi, I thought of all the sci-fi I love. Like, what do I love? And I, I love two sci-fi things. Fifth Element. <laughs> but the previous year, somebody dressed up like the diva Plava Laguna and danced to her opera. So that was out. And I didn't really want to be Corbin Dallas or Lilu, so that was out. I had a little more of a belly back then. Um, but I just, I was watching Battlestar. I was actually not done with the show yet. And I'm like, she's cool. Karen Thrace is Fucking rad, fracking rad. I'm sorry. And um, I thought, you know, there's this is character, and she's strong, and she's awesome, and fanboys and fangirls adore her. But I can probably take her and pull out those little vulnerable bits and do some belly dancing, which can be girly but strong at the same time, and really kind of tap into that little soft part that everyone won't admit that they really dig about her. But uh, I worked with material I was really familiar with that I really, really loved. Because I'm one of those spinners that doesn't hate my material when I'm finished with it. I, I want to you know, keep loving the stuff I love. So I pick something that I can go to bed with every night and love every morning when I wake up next to it. Kind of like Dio. Thank you.
was amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you, La. We're starting a uh, we're starting a Kickstarter to bring Law back as slave Leia. <laughs> Give generously. I will do this thing. <laughs> I love that she can credibly talk about working really hard to be feminine while wearing army pants and combat boots. Can I take off my pants? Yes. All right. 